Nothing is impossible to those who believe. Mother Claire began. I was musing on how wonderfully Alberta was playing the piano and longing to be like that. The Lord intercepted my thoughts with, Nothing is impossible. Don't limit me with your finite human reasoning. Get your hands dirty. Get your fingers on the keyboard. Put away judgment, finding fault and gossip. Cleanse your hearts of all rancor, for I am holy. Do not bring these things into my presence. Personal holiness empties all the heart attitudes that make you unclean. Playing church instead of a real encounter. Keep calling, demanding, crying out for God, and prepare a resting place for Him in your heart. Free of the contamination of worldliness, jealousy, envy, criticism, backbiting, gossip, adultery, covetedness. For you cannot worship me in one breath and stab your brother or sister in the back in the same breath. I want to do something unheard of in your midst. Yes, in the midst of crippling drugs and witchcraft, adultery, stealing, and all manner of evil. I want to cleanse you and fill you. I want to replace your filthy rags with cloaks of righteousness. I want to cleanse the inside of the cup so I may pour in my anointing to be spread to all the aching and suffering. I want to use every single one of you. You know what it is to suffer. You know what it is to be helpless and have no one to turn to. But I will fill you so full with my presence that it will spill over those around you who are hurting and have no answers. Yes, you, not some minister full of learning, but you, the broken ones, your hearts having been broken, now healed, will hold gallons of healing water to flow out over your family. Extend your hand and ask, Jesus, heal. Jesus, touch my sister, my brother, my broken ones. Oh, Jesus, flow out from within me to touch them. Yes, you, the little, the broken, who know the pain, pour out into the hearts of those around you from my abundance poured into you. First, there must be a forsaking of sin, a cleansing and preparation for my habitation in your hearts. Oh, my precious ones, I have been with you on those lonely nights when it all seemed hopeless. You cried out and wondered if I had heard you. Yes, I heard and I cried out with you and for you. I was there with you, listening to every word, catching every tear. That's how much you mean to me. And that was the end of his message. My dear ones, God wants you to know that he is with you always, even in your darkest moments especially in your more desperate moments. He is there, truly. He is suffering with you, and he wants you to know that he is there. Yes, indeed, he is there. Yes, you, the littlest ones. He desires to live inside of your heart. He wants your hands to be his hands, your feet to be his feet. No more barriers, no more guilt, no more distance, no more. Just a spirit living in you and working through you.